All right, what up guys? So James here, AKA The Palm, and today we are gonna look at another water-based pomade. So like many others, this one has been around for about a year now. I believe it came out around the same time as Bonafide pomade. And a lot of you guys like, asked about it, but I couldn't really schedule a review at the time when I did the water-based series, you guys remember from like a year ago. But this time around, I'm gonna do it. And so if you guys didn't know what I was talking about already, let me introduce to you Steadfast Pomade. So I've used it for the past uh, day yesterday and I actually really, really like it. And so I'm actually really excited to uh, give you guys the review because this is something I've actually been really pleased with. And so it should be good. But let's go ahead and look at the jar right now. And as you guys can see, we have branding on the front, branding on the face. Not exactly your most, uh, your best design work to say, looks like clip art to be perfectly honest, but either way, it's better than actually some other pomades which are really just like poor in um, effort at all, at least they tried. And so you have branding on the front and the top, then ingredients and directions on the side, some other stuff, and this comes in your standard four ounce jar, twisting it open, you have the blue pomade inside. And the scent is actually really nice. So like many other pomades now we've seen, it has a nice clean cologne smell. But unlike Suavecito, it's not as um, harsh or like hard hitting. And in comparison to Type 550, it's not as like sweet. So you get this really just like fresh and maybe just biased by the name of the pomade. This very like just like aqua fresh, like just just overall like fresh cologne smell. And so it's really clean and I've been really happy with the scent. And so another good characteristic of this pomade, aside from the scent, is its texture. It scoops out actually as smooth as Admiral. So I was really happy when I first started using it. I was just like, thank you. Another pomade that's like just easy to work with, easy to scoop out, because with my fine hair, it's not impossible at all. It's just an inconvenience that I don't believe is uh, uh, necessary for me to like endure. You know, I mean, a pomade doesn't have to be difficult like to apply. I mean, we've worked with pomades that are easy to apply and outperform any other pomade that's heavy and like difficult to apply. So, I would like to say that like difficult application because of like an overly dry pomade or overly heavy pomade is not a necessary um, downside or necessary uh, um, sacrifice that a pomade has to have in order to be like strong and good. And as you guys can tell by my hand movements, like it's really easy to apply, really easy to work around, and like easy enough for me to like make sure this pomade really gets like underneath my palm and really provides that support I need later to style my pump. And like the scent is just really nice right now and it's just beautiful. So the scent is a nice fresh cologne. Texture is very smooth, very similar to um, Admiral and the application is super easy and i've been taking small scoops to kind of make sure i spread out and distribute the pomade evenly so this time i'm gonna go for one last little lick and kind of make sure i really coat everything and get every single little stray hair All right, and then with that all done, making sure the pomade is kind of finely like distributed across my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and slick everything back. You can also see steadfast, really easy to comb through, not a problem at all. Like. You guys remember from some of the other pomades we just reviewed, it was actually like a big difficult like situation and like I would actually literally have to pull on my hair and actually <laughs> broke many many hairs yesterday working with the other pomades. Alright, so as you guys already know, 
my hair all slicked back on. I'm gonna style my hair, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> that should be good enough. And so, let's go ahead and look at the hair and talk about like how the pomade performed like overall. So, as you guys can see, my sides are held down very nice and tight. The part is made hard, sharp, and straight. And the shape of the pump itself is actually pretty nice. And everything looks great. Like, perfectly great. Definitely like, excited to go out with it. And yesterday was also a great and beautiful pompadour with this product. Just very good. So, basically, let's go over through the characteristics of this pomade. So, it's water-based so the shine will go away throughout the day um, by the end of the day it will go um, basically non-existent as in not matte but just non-existent so the natural shine of your hair is the natural shine you're gonna have matte when I use matte I mean like matte as in it like it takes the shine away from your hair and that probably doesn't do that you just have the natural shine of your hair while it's still wet of course you still will have a little extra shine Slickness, it does good, do a good job when you're styling your hair. It keeps all the strays together. Um, you will have like one or two, which is an expected thing from a water-based product. Um, later in the day, if you do touch it, um, it will puff out. Um, it's, not, it's not too fragile, but like any other water-based, if you start combing it through without like a water source or without wet combing, you will start getting stray hairs. Um, in terms of like the hold, it is in in between between the bonafide and like a suavecito original so it is just like a touch up from like a suavecito original type of a hold so it's actually in a great range for me because suavecito just like gives me a little bit like not enough hold it's a little too wet and a little too um um a little too weak for me to style in like an efficient manner this one gives me just enough and so I'm actually really happy. Hit a very happy medium, just like a bonafide um, pomade. And so overall, like my hair looks great, and I'm really excited to go out with it. it smells great, but uh, we'll see how it does for the rest of the day. And so I will see you guys after work, and we'll get we'll again talk about the restyleability, the endurance, and like just like how it fared throughout the whole day. So have a good rest of your day, guys, and uh, I'll be right back after work. all right what up guys so i am home from work now it's about like five or six i'm like yeah whatever close enough and so basically day's over time to give you guys kind of a review of how the pomade fared throughout the whole day um so like trying to restyle the pomade throughout the whole day it was pretty similar to any other water-based pomade um you definitely need a source of water to restyle it um yeah, no, there's no way you're going to get away without um, a source of water unless it's like pretty um, humid that day or you've been in a room where like there's a lot of moisture so your hair is staying, stayed somewhat like malleable. But other than that, uh, the endurance of the product itself, like my pump is still like there. It's still good enough for me to go out with. Um, there is some sagging, of course, like with any other water-based pomade or any other pomade in general, you can get some sagging after a while. But it's still like not bad at all. Definitely um, better than some other pomades. And what else was I supposed to say? Oh yeah, and then so the pro the product did dry. I mean, it did um, harden up like a water-based pomade typically does. It's to be expected. Um, it's not like super crusty like other pomades. Like when you push it down, you're not gonna hear like a crunch, 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 which is really gross. But you will feel it kind of giving way. Like you'll feel like a very like um, firm resistance and then it will give way so it does harden there's no surprise to that but the scent is still there throughout the whole day it smells really good and it's just um, a great pomade so definitely steadfast pomade receives my seal of approval and so I would highly recommend trying it it's definitely one of those pomades that's great underrated and super affordable so it's good balance of just how it performs, how it smells, and how it kind of um, survives the whole day, and especially at that price. So like anything else, I can get you guys at a great price, so check out the links below. And if you guys are um, interested in si other similar products, I would compare this product to definitely like Admiral from before. Um, 
I would also compare it to the Layrite Deluxe as well, just because like the hold and the characteristics basically from the two, but everything else about them are pretty different from each other. And then on the other side, kind of, let's see, another one that's pretty similar would be like Suavecito Original, but I don't want to recommend you guys to that one. Kind of like, uh, kind of pushing the a little bit like the water the oral base equivalent would be like a granat's lightweight in terms of like the strength and how it kind of feels when you style it not really feel but just like the the amount of hold you get and lastly of course i mean another really similar product is bonafide so yeah i mean so that's been stead, uh steadfast pomade receives a seal of approval by me definitely a great product I wish I tried it sooner, but yeah, so hope you guys got something out of this review and other than that take care and have a good Friday